welcome to js production and today we'll look at the solutions of question 2 of mathematics past paper 2 which came in 2015 make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video so question 2a reads solve the equation 2y squared plus 6y minus 1 is equals to 0 giving your answers correct to two decimal places 5 marks question b reads given that matrix q is equals to a 2 3 negative 2 number number 1 write an expression in terms of a for the determinant of q 1 mark number number 2 find the value of a given that the determinant of q is is 2 2 max number number 3 write the inverse of q 1 mark question a reads solve the equation 2y squared plus 6y minus 1 is equal to 0 giving your answers collect to two decimal places 5 marks So for me to solve uh, this equation, I need to find the value of y. And I can see that this equation is a quadratic equation. So I'm going to write down this equation. So this is uh, 2y squared plus 6y minus 1 is equals to 0. So I can use the quadratic formula for me to find the value of y. So I'll, I'm going to find the value of a, b, and c. So the value of a is 2 which is the coefficient of y squared. The value of b is y, which is the coefficient of uh, y. And the value of c is the constant, which is negative 1. The next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to write the quadratic formula. So I'll say y is equals to negative b plus or minus the square root the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is uh, the quadratic formula. So I'll say y is equals to my b that's a 6. So that will be negative 6 plus or minus. Then I have b squared which will be 6 squared minus 4ac my uh, a that's a 2 and my c that's a negative 1 divided by 2a so our, I'm going to write my 2 multiplied by my a that's a 2 so y is equals to negative 6 plus or minus the square root 6 multiplied by 6, that's a 36. Then negative 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by negative 1, that's positive 8. 2 multiplied by 2, that's 4. So I'll say y is equals to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 plus 8, that's 44, divided by 4. So I'll say y is equals to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 44. That's 6.6332459581 divided by so I can write up uh, two equations uh, from this expression. I can say y is equals to negative 6 plus 6.6332 6 
टू फोर नाइन फाइव एट वन डिवाइड बाय फोर और वाई कैन बी इक्वल टू नेगेटिव सिक्स माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री टू फोर नाइन फाइव एट वन डिवाइड बाय फोर सो आई स्टार्ट विथ द फर्स्ट वन व्हिच इज हैविंग ए पॉजिटिव सो आई से वाई इज इक्वल्स टू नेगेटिव सिक्स प्लस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री टू फोर नाइन फाइव एट वन डिवाइड बाय फोर सो माय वाई इज इक्वल्स टू सो नेगेटिव सिक्स प्लस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री टू फोर नाइन फाइव एट वन is uh zero point six three three two four nine nine five eight divided by four so my y is equal to zero point one five eight three one two three nine five my y is equals to when i round off to two decimal places that 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 is going to be 0.16 because eight can be changed into a one then also uh the other expression which is having a negative sign so i'll say negative 6 minus 6.3 Negative six minus six point six three three two four nine five eight one divided by four. So y is equals to negative six minus six point six three three two four nine five eight one. Is a uh, negative twelve point six three three two four nine five nine five eight divide by four. So negative twelve point six three three two four nine five eight divide by four. My answer is negative four point. Five, eight, three, one, two, three, nine, five, and if I round off to two decimal places, it will be negative four point six, negative four point six six, because the eight can be changed into a one. So my the value of y is equals to zero point. One six or y is equals to negative four point six six. So these are the two values of y. Question B reads: Given that matrix Q is equals to a two 
3 negative 2 Loma numero 1 Write an expression in terms of A for the determinant of Q 1 mark So to find an expression in terms of A for the determinant of Q, I'm supposed to make A the subject of the formula. And I know that the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is found by subtracting the minor diagonal from the major diagonal. So I'll say determinant of Q is equal to the two elements in the major diagonal. I have uh, A multiplied by negative 2 minus the two elements in the minor diagonal. I have uh, 2 multiplied by 3. So the determinant of Q is equal to a multiplied by negative 2 that's negative 2a minus 2 multiplied by 3 that's 6 so I can say negative 2a minus 6 is equals to the determinant of Q then I can transpose negative 6 to the other side of the equation so it will be positive so I, I'll say negative 2a is equals to um, the determinant of Q plus 6 then I'll divide both sides by negative 2 then it will be equal to the determinant of Q plus 6 divided by negative 2. So that's the expression of A. Loma numero 2. Find the value of A given that the determinant of Q is 2. 2 max. So to find the value of A when the determinant of Q is uh, 2, I'll say the determinant of Q is equals to negative 2A minus 6. And I know that uh, the, term, the determinant of Q have been given the equation which is 2. So I'll say 2 is equals to negative 2A minus 6. Then I'll say negative 2A minus 6 is equals to 2. So I'll transpose my negative 6 to the other side of the equation so it will be negative 2a is equals to 2 plus 6 then i'll say negative 2a 2 plus 6 that's 8 then i'll divide both sides by negative 2 to find the value of a so i'll say a is equals to 8 divided by negative 2 that's negative 4 so the value of a is negative 4. the man numero 3 Write the inverse of Q, one mark. To find the inverse of matrix Q, I'll say the inverse of matrix Q is equals to 1 divided by the determinant of matrix Q multiplied by the original matrix which is negative 4, 2, 3 and negative 2. But I need to interchange the numbers in the major diagonal and I need to change the signs in the minor diagonal. So I say the inverse of matrix Q is equals to 1 divided by the determinant of Q that's 2. Then I, I, I'm going to swap the numbers in the major diagonal. So that is going to be negative 2 and negative 4. And I'm going to change the signs in the minor diagonal. So that will be negative 3 and negative 2. So the inverse of matrix Q is equals to uh, half multiplied by negative 2. That's a negative 1. Half multiplied by negative 2. That's a negative 1. Take note that uh, that negative 2 it's a negative 1 then half multiplied by negative 3 that's neg negative 1 over 2 and half multiplied by negative 4 that's negative 2